The Poe Politican Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and get an audiobook of your choice free with a 30-day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power. Popolitikin.com Yo, what up? It's your boy Castro Escobar, man. We out here at Popolitikin. You know what it is, man. It's going down one time. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Motherfuckers don't be... And this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going like this and shit. I was a 24, lost my mind at 24, and it's barely been a month. I don't want to feel no more. I can't talk to anybody, so nobody really know about what's really going on, or about the thoughts that really roam around my mind, and I know this can't be right. Aim that nine towards my dome like every night, trying to reach towards my mom for some advice. But I can, that's what makes me question life And I haven't wrote my brother out here doing time I ain't a fucking rapper, I'm a soul that bleeds on every line (coughs) And every time I get the chance, I think of better times My demons get a hold of me and (laughs) never mind Fuck with anybody or anyone says about me. Fuck a bitch that play me. Fuck a fake that always doubts me. Fuck my destiny for everything is fucking lacking. Now fuck Castro for allowing all of this to happen. Welcome back to PolPolitikin.com. You're home for self help me hip hop. Make sure you go listen to us on iHeartRadio. We're on Apple Music and we're on Spotify. One, two, one, two, and place to be with Castro Escobar. How you doing, bro? I'm all right, man. I'm a little cold, but I'm good. You know what I'm saying? All right. How you, what, um, tell us about your name a little bit. Um, well, Castro Escobar, you know what I'm saying? Really ain't no no uh, no big meaning behind it. I mean, those those two are uh, my, my two last names. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was born in uh, I was born in Mexico, so I got my, mo- my mother's last name and my dad's last name. All right. And, uh, I mean, my full name is Fidel Allen Castro Escobar, but I didn't want to go with 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 those two. I, I thought, I mean, even if you, you know you put Fidel Castro Castro Escobar, either way, it's, it, it's, it all sounds a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to get too political with the Fidel Castro thing, so I was just like, I'm gonna go with Castro Escobar. You know what I'm all right. So tell us about your background and how long you've been involved with music. <clears throat> well, I mean, um, as far as uh, I mean, my background. I mean, I, I came out here when I was a, a a a young a young kid. You know what I'm saying? My mom brought me over here when I was like a baby. You know what I'm saying? I was like two, I think. And um, I grew up. Most most of my childhood was in a in a Atlanta area in in Georgia. And then, um, like when I was 13, we moved down to Texas, and uh, I got into the music like when I was 15. Um, but I didn't really take it serious. Maybe till like. I was 21, which was like four years ago, like 2015 is when I dropped my first song, like ever and everything. So I never really recorded anything like that. I was just like, you know, my 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 homie back at home would make beats and rap and everything. So I was just like, you know, let me let me let me get into it too, whatever. And then like it became therapeutic for me, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up really like going for it and everything, you know what I mean? So, I mean, what do you love about music? 
Uh, I mean, the, 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 the fact that I could let it out, you know what I'm saying? Honestly. Um, of course, it's, it's fun to turn up to, you know, you know, uh, uh, distract yourself and everything this and that. But once you, I feel like it, whenever I, I do like my, my most, uh, my, my best work is whenever I have to let something out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if it wasn't for that, like, I wouldn't know how, what other way to, to, to be able to, uh, uh um, I guess, like, like I said, it's, it's kind of like my therapy, you know what I'm saying? So that's the beautiful thing about it, that whenever you just, to me, like, when I put myself out there and people are like, yo, I can relate to this, or yo, I fuck with this, or yo, this this is dope, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it really didn't take much for me. It was just me really, like, letting it out, you know what I'm saying? So that that's the best part. That's my favorite thing about the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Just being able to put myself out there like that. And then who are some of your favorite artists? My favorite artists right now... Uh, J. Cole. J. Cole's always been my, 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 since I heard J. Cole, you know what I'm saying? Before J. Cole, it was Ludacris, you know what I'm saying? Because since I was a little kid, Ludacris was like the first one, the, the first rapper that I actually ever really paid attention to, you know what I'm saying? They were playing on the radio all the time over there and everything. But um, once I kind of like started looking up artists and everything, you know, like the Coles, the, the, the Kendricks, you know, right now I'm, I'm really fucking with like Wi Fi's funeral, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, I'm fucking with Blueface, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Blueface. Uh, uh, a lot of, I mean, a lot of, a lot of artists. You know what I'm saying? But um, I mean, the main one you could say is the most influential to me was probably like J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? How would you describe your style as an artist? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really all around. Um, the, the, I'm re- really everywhere. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very. Um, how do you say? Uh, whenever. Um, like, like I could do, I could do trap, I could do, you know what I'm saying, poetic, you know, it, all types of things, you know. But of course, like my best way, I feel like my strong point is, is like um, storytelling, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to me. And I mean, my all of my songs, my, like my biggest songs that, that have had like over a million strings, over, you know, 250,000 uh, strings, like it's definitely like my storytelling, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm very descriptive, des- descriptive with a lot of... Uh, 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 of my rap, you know what I'm saying? Because like, I mean, if it's on if it's on a real note, I feel like the more descriptive you are, the, the better picture you paint. You know what I'm saying? So, I would say storytelling. You know what I mean? So, I mean, how did you hook up with Snow the Product? <clears throat> uh, she uh she she said she ran into one of my videos um on YouTube. Uh, she said she. She was just scrolling through, and I think somebody tweeted her too. So I think that caught her attention. My, one of my homies tweeted her, um, and uh, uh, she she I guess she looked me up, and she came across my video on YouTube. It was called "Risk It," and she said that she listened to the whole thing, and that she was like, "Yo, I could relate to some of that. That was like some real shit." She was telling me that she uh, that she's never heard like a, a, a Mexican rapper actually put himself out there and, and rap like like that you know what i'm saying so she hit me up and you know she was like yo like i'm starting this i'm starting that you know if you want to be a part of it you know so that's that's pretty much how that happened yeah um it was through a video called risk it that i made it was my first music video i ever made actually so. what's up uh, and then what are some yeah. of your current projects right now um right now <clears throat> i mean uh last year like around uh it was uh june 1st when i dropped uh fidel snack um and it's a it's a short EP. It's like uh, I think it's like ten ten or eleven tracks, and um, of course we just dropped the vibe higher tape uh, last month in December, and um, or well actually two months now in December. Uh, but I'm I'm working on uh, Fidel's dinner. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna be my next uh, mixtape uh, dropping this year. Hopefully around my birthday, which is like August, is when I'm dropping another uh, solo mixtape. You know what I'm saying? What is in your interest outside of music? Uh, I mean, if if honestly, man, if I keep it a hundred with you, ain't nothing really other than the music. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been hooked on Fortnite for a little bit, but I wouldn't really say that's a, a interest like that. Um, I'm not really too much into the sports or anything like that. I mean, I like uh, I like to gamble. You know, I like to play me a little dice here and there, some cards. You know, what I'm saying some dominoes, man. I, I'm crazy with them bones, so yeah, probably I would say that. You know what I'm saying? Some dominoes or some cards, something like that. 
You know, so I, I just interviewed Hon- Hondro, and he said he played Fortnite too. So y'all be playing together? Yeah, yeah. He be, he be, <laughs> he's talking he be, about Fortnite uh, too. I be yeah. I be on uh, uh I be online sometimes, you know. Uh, and uh, he'll send me an invite and everything. Or I see that he's online. It's like sometimes if I get too uh, uh, if I have like writer's block or anything, I'll go back to the to the room, like cause cause the room uh, my room is like right here next to the studio. So it's like. If I'm like too, if I feel like I'm getting too in my head or getting too worked up about it, like I don't really like that. I don't like to force too much, you know what I'm saying? So I just go to the next room and play me like a game or two, and then come back, you know, listen to something else or change it up, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, definitely, it, it definitely keeps you from it keeps you from 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 your own mind, you know what I'm saying? I don't really like to think too too much into my head because if I get if I get too much into my head, it's it's it's, it's gonna be a bad day for me, you know what I'm saying? So I like to kind of like keep it balanced, you know what I'm saying? So, man, what do you see your career five years from now? Um, I mean, hopefully, <clears throat> one 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 goal that I do have that hopefully five years from now, hopefully two years from now, it, it, you know, it, it, I can accomplish is touring, man. I really want to do my own tours, even if it's um, uh, uh, like a. Fifty people in the crowd, you know, twenty people in the crowd, a hundred people. We don't, you know, what I'm saying, like, of course, I also tour with the team, but, um, but, but a, a big goal of mine uh, right now uh, that, that I set for myself is actually like being able to go on tour, you know, what I'm saying, around the, around the country on my own, you know, what I mean. What's up? And then, what yeah. advice would you give to new artists? I'm sorry. What's what up? advice would you give to new artists? <clears throat> Man, the best advice I can give anybody <clears throat> is be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Of course, of course, um, you're gonna have uh, influences of people that, that that you look up to in, in, in music, or people that you know uh, uh, that you kind of like. I, I would say, like, kind of teach you in a way, you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, if, if, if you're yourself, you know that you're you're always gonna have your own style. You know what I'm saying? You're always gonna be yourself. I feel like <clears throat> I feel like character is the is the biggest thing because. I see, you know, I see a lot of rappers that are good, whatever this and that. But to me, they don't, I don't, they don't have anything that keeps me like wanting to listen to them more. You know what I'm saying? So to me, like, I feel like character is 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 everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have artists that aren't even really that good, but their character makes you know makes you want to hear them again, or, or makes you want to listen to their interviews. Or, you know, I mean, that's just me personally. So be yourself. You know, work. You know what I'm saying? Just. Keep going with it, but yeah, definitely be yourself would be the biggest, the biggest thing. Anybody just hearing about you now? Why should they go check out your music? Um, they shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, real shit, you know what I'm saying. But if you want to listen to some, to to to, I mean, I'm 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 a young, I'm a young. Uh, I, I came in here illegally, you know what I'm saying. I I I, I feel like I have a story to tell, not only for my people, but like for people you know that struggle with everyday life type shit you know what i'm saying so like i said like i have songs that you know you could turn up to you know whatever and i have uh, on some on some real shit like i'm very honest with my with my music you know what i'm saying so i feel like a lot of things that people won't say out loud like you will be able to hear in my music me saying it so i feel like it'll make you comfortable with, with you know what i'm saying it's just like whenever you hear something in a song and it's like damn i've always thought this but i've never said it out loud this artist just said it like I, I fuck with that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you know, <clears throat> if you into that type of stuff, or if you, you know, what I'm saying, want to listen to something new, you know. I mean, and you were saying you came over here illegally. I said, what do you think about like the wall situation right now? Um, shit, build that motherfucker. It ain't gonna stop nobody. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I promise you anything. If they. they, they they keep building that bitch. It ain't gonna start nothing. They're just gonna keep taking people's taxes. It's just, I, I promise you, bro. Like that shit ain't gonna stop. Cause a lot of, especially now, most of the people don't even come over, crossing over the wall, bro. They fucking come over here either through the fucking through through uh, with, know. with visas or, or or with other people's names, bro. And it ain't it ain't gonna stop, bro. So <laughs> it's just like, I, it's dis- I feel like it is disrespectful. It's fuck for Trump. You know what I'm saying? But. I mean, it ain't gonna stop nothing. Like, you, honestly, the only thing that it's doing is wasting money, man. That's all it's doing. So, that's my take on it. Build it, it ain't gonna stop shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. <laughs> Do you remember how you came over? Yeah, 
I do. I was uh, I actually uh, I feel like that's one of the one of the biggest reasons why Snow uh, paid attention to me because in that song that I tell you risk it, I said that um, I, I always tell a lot of people because like my mom came, my mom, my dad was working in uh, in Florida, and he came down down uh, he went down to Texas uh, to and he paid a coyote, which is somebody who crosses who gets people and crosses them over to the United States. He paid him. He was like, yo, I need my son and my and my wife out here. So um, I just remember running. I think I was like two maybe. I just remember running with my mom, and I was like, yo, like, where are we going? You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people always tell me, like, bro, ain't no way you could remember that if you was two years old. But I'm like, nah, bro. Like, I remember. I mean, I don't remember clearly every single thing, but I remember, like, parts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I definitely do remember, like, running, like, just running, running in, like, a field. And it was dark. And um, I, me telling my mom, yo, mom, I'm tired. She's like, nah, come on. And she would carry me. And then, like, the dude would carry me. And then, like, we would have to hide on some bushes. And then my mom would be like, yo, be quiet, this and that. And I could see, like, the fear in her face. So that's when I knew, like, you know, me as a child, I was just like, oh, Yeah, shit, it's okay. traumatic. That's why you remember Yeah. <clears throat> so I, I just remember getting to the river. And um, the dude was talking to my mom. My mom, like like I said, like, I just see the look in her face. And then she was like, you're going to go with this man, blah, blah, blah. And they had, like, a, what is it, like, an inner, inner tube? Like, the things in the yeah. wheel? Yeah. It was an inner tube, like, somewhere, like, damn near close down to the river. It was, like, covered with a bunch of, like, leaves and bushes and branches and shit. And uh, they took it out and, and put me in there, and they crossed me, and then they crossed my mom. And uh, uh, I remember telling my mom, being like, yo, I want that balloon. You know what I'm saying? I remember saying that shit. But I was like, that ain't no balloon, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we got to go. So I just remember. It felt like days that we was we was going. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh but um, but yeah, definitely remember that. Definitely remember like um, somebody like going out into the field in a car picking us up, and then there was another drive, and then we got we got somewhere, and it was like a bunch of people. So I guess that's where like everybody would go, and then their families would pick them up or whatever. So it was like a place with like a bunch of immigrants too. You know what I'm saying? So definitely remember. I mean, not everything thoroughly, but definitely do remember the big parts. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. What would you like to say to all your uh, fans and supporters? Oh man, that I appreciate every single one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's love. I never thought I'm from a small last town. You know what I'm saying? So I never thought in my life that I would ever even see L.A., New York, shit like that. Let alone have people from L.A., New York, Chicago, Miami. You know, all across the the the, the United States, actually listen to my story or pay attention to anything that I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to say. That I love everybody who's who's been supporting me, who's been showing me love, who's been buying merch, who's been streaming my music, all that, you know, that shit means the word to me, you know what I'm saying? So right, uh, man. Yeah. I wanna say thanks for coming through politics with me. For sure, man. Thank you, bro. You wanna tell me your social media and everything? For sure, for sure. Follow me on Instagram, which is pretty much the 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 the, the place where I put post mo everything at um Castro Escobar underscore OJ. Twitter, where I usually wild out, you know what I'm saying, Castro Escobar 9, um, look me up on Facebook, Castro Escobar, YouTube, all that, Spotify, run them numbers up for me, you know what I'm saying, all that good stuff, at iTunes, Apple Music, you know, Castro Escobar, everything, so. All right, man.
this dream that you keep on chasing and bringing in any cash. I'm fucking everything up, but I'm doing all that I can. I guess I ain't working enough, but enough was never the plan. See, we've been working out night, me and EC. Just trying to get us a slice like we at CC's. It seems we getting nothing done when we sleep. I just wish everybody could see what we see, bitch. I'm influenced by everything that I've been around. I'm bringing her some town, let her fuck with the windows down. In a small town, 4K the population. My mind is racing, I keep on pacing, ain't no vacation. Me and the crew riding reckless in a golden Nissan, no license. Yeah, the mother for the police, and on top of that, we got goose man sitting up in the trunk. We knowing the consequences, but still not giving a fuck. I'm drinking my thoughts away, tomorrow's a brighter day. Hip hop was trying to leave it till I convinced her to stay. Voices inside my head, but I still don't know what they saying. Demons outside my window trying to prevent me from praying. Yeah, yeah. Voices inside my head, but I still don't know what they saying. Yeah, yeah. Demons outside my window trying to prevent me from praying. One time. Look, I've been out here working like I ain't tired. I'm picking up every piece and I'm putting out every fire. I'm solving everyone's problem till every issue is ironed. I'm done created a matriarch. Now it's down to the wire. It's time to show me they got me. Cause I've been losing my strength. Swear to God that I'm happy with every decision made. But if I could talk about anything, half the people I paid, half the people I put on just wanted a little fame. When it was about their problems, I helped them in every way. Soon as I lost my footing, I seen the energy change. All of a sudden, I am the competition in weight. All of them started fucking with people they used to hate. Now every piece of advice that I gave them is in my way. Everything that I taught them is how they trying to play. And I'm not the type to be salty, but baby, there's just one thing that you trying to make better moves, but bitch, I created the game, and I got me a fucking ace that you never thought I would have, smiling in my face, but you know I'ma make them mad when I pull out the fucking moves that I plan as soon as they shifted, cause there's one thing about bitches like me that been in the trenches, I lost it all in a second and made it back and consistently, simply kicked it into higher gear when they was dissing me physically, visibly, you could tell a new me has risen, and all of you fucking bitches that thought you could fucking get to me, you're about to eat your words like a dinner, yeah, let your ego get you all up in your feelings, yeah, I just let them all play themselves out, y'all forgot that you was fucking with a winner, yeah, beginners, yeah, let everybody think they got me figured, yeah But please believe I didn't get this far by being bitter, yeah I got tired, vibed higher, went higher, better ones These youngins got a point to prove, better run They on their way, they gon' be straight Listening to PopePolitikin.com, a self help meets hip hop brand. If you are an artist or business owner wanting to be featured on PopePolitikin.com, contact us at PopePolitikin at gmail.com. That's P O P O L I T I C K I N at gmail.com or text 760 717 5803. If you're a listener that enjoys the show and wants to support, you can donate to popolitikin.com via paypal.com. Please send donations to popolitikin at gmail.com. Any amount will be helpful in continuing to create quality content and shows. As always, check out popolitikin.com for past episodes. Make sure you subscribe to Popolitikin on iTunes, YouTube, Podomatic, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play.